Hey guys, check out this stupid thing I found. Yes! Against all odds, who on earth would have thought that a Katara that we got <laughs> would actually sell? No, seriously, we got this, like, last Monday. Today is Wednesday. I'm really surprised. But, that having that been said, that's, what, 3.8 bill or something like that for everyone? So it's now my job to claim that, calculate the splits, and pay everyone. So there is one right here, I believe. Let me double check. Mm, screenshot matches. Yes. So here's one. Here's another one. Did you see oh. Rocket Time? Oh wait, I see it. Three minutes ago? Yeah, yeah for the... the... Bought it just now. Yeah. I'm surprised we <laughs> sold it. <laughs> yeah, dude, that <laughs> just blows my... Like, <laughs> and so fast! What did you put up against, sorry? A bronze ore. Right, am I gonna see it? Or yes, or I or will. We just sold a two-handed sword. So, more NX for me. Awesome. I can finish it, I can finish it. Oh, oh I see it's a like shining God, rod. Thing. It was a shining mm -hmm. rod. Oh, but this flame though. Balls. Oh, there you go, nice. Oh my oh, goodness, a, a potential sword. scroll. We got a sword, we got a sword, we got a sword. Oh, vegans. Oh, we didn't get. Oh, it. I see something. I think it's no! A Kartara. No! Not <laughs> again! <laughs> Are you kidding me? What did we get? Katara. I Another? hate. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> nice. Oh my God, bro. Sad God damn. Like so, so, so. Oh, did I just? I see an item. Something. Wait, what? I saw something. Yeah, we got an oh, item. I Which item? Up. It's an arcane umbra. Two-handed sword. No. Deja vu. Oh, we got a Katerna to answer our two times Again. in a row. Again. <laughs> so it's not it's not like weekly reset when they switch. When wait, I think. Uh, wait, no, no. I think Lucid gave us the Katara too last time. Yeah, that's the point. That's yeah, that makes it even worse. Every week from now. On, oh my Katara god. Fucking <laughs> Groundhog Day at the bosses. Yay. Hello from the last episode. I'm currently in the middle of filming and recording the mutant snail familiar farming, but I need to quickly go and do some other stuff for a second. Wait a minute. Are these? I don't think they... Eh, I don't think so. I am taking a quick break from the farming to do some quick cubing because I have some cubes that are cluttering in my inventory and I wanted to... Uh, record myself doing this for the sake of uh, the episodes so I am trying to tear this up to unique for some extra mesos so let's just see if I get lucky do, 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 do. or if I get two line luck that's also a good uh, place to stop but yeah I I kind of need to clear out my inventory a little bit so that I uh, have more space for the familiars and stuff but unlucky, uh, where are the expiring echo cubes? Yeah, these are from Fairy Bros. So we can use these, might as well. Always use the free stuff you're given. Um, I'm going to use all 10 just because I don't think I'm going to have any other use of them. So we'll just roll them all. I think that was 10 though. Oh no, I, I got two more. Might as well. There we go. See if we can get back at least uh, the 7% luck. But I don't want to roll too many times because I know I'm going to get another batch of Master Craftsman's Cubes soon. So, not going to try to be incredibly focused on getting the luck back because I'm uh, wasting 
amounts of... Okay, that works. I I don't think that's a keeper since it's all flat luck, but that's definitely something to look at. Thief shoulder. Whoa, what on earth happened here? Well, it's a good thing I checked. Dang. What? No, seriously, what's happening here? Well, how much are faint stigma stones? There's still this much, so... Oh, that's a scary thought. Uh, yikes. Maybe we'll have to drop this down to 1.2 bill then, or something like that. But now I'm even more incentivized to try to tear it up. There's a 30% off coin shop sale, so it's time to get all of these arcane symbols selector coupons. Did my inventory get filled? Oh, no. I'm so good. We can keep going. Okay, here we go. All Esfera, please. And just for the sake of uh, a comment from a couple episodes ago, I will do it with arrow keys this time and enter. Oh, but just this once though, because I like my clicking. Watch that progress bar go up. Yes, please. I have some leftover coins that I can use for the coin shop before it resets, so I thought maybe we can uh, do a bit on some flames. So I believe I can spend this much, I think. Uh, so four rainbow flames, one CRA hat. I'm mainly looking for around 60 stat and four all stat, which is why eternal flames are good, because their minimum tier four. Sorry about that. Ouch. <laughs> Anyways, so here we go. Let's give this a try. Oh, 76 cent. That's a no, even if it was a uh, strength. 72 decks, wow. 16, bunch of junk, and final flame. As promised, I am moving some items to my Kana, and I'm showing exactly what they are. So, here are the following. It's all just... chump change stuff. So, nothing too special. Take that. And accept. All done. I'm watching a trade go down. Um... Yeah, that's about it. Nothing really exciting, nothing I can really show on camera because I don't do any of the trades. Usually I get my party member to do it and I just take the split. I facilitate and uh, what's it called? I, I look for the trades, but when I ever it actually happens, I don't deal with it because of road to max damage. So in the case of this, we got an arcane staff and uh, we're selling it. That's about it. And then I'll show you my split when the sale is done. That's all I can say. Yay, I got my split for the staff. Gotta convert it to Karma Coin. I'm really tired. Had a rough night. Hooray! I have no idea what I'm stockpiling NX for, though. That's the problem. I need more metal right now. I'm transferring stuff again to my Kana, so I'm just going to record this. It's been a rough couple of days, actually, maybe even almost a week now. I haven't been able to sell a good amount of the Absolab stuff I got from my hard boss party, so those are just hogging up slots in my inventory. So that's gonna suck for the next little while, but. Check out this flame I got on a pink bean drop. Isn't that pretty crazy? That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, just gonna move all of these over to the Kana. Is there someone under there? No. There was actually one time... Wait, oh god. Okay. Uh, the Kana was still on the trade accepted window. There was one time where I w was uh, dropping these items to my Kana. 
and I just assumed everyone in the map was AFK, but as I was doing it and mashing the pickup button on my Kana, some guy came in and picked up like a couple of them as well, so I was like, darn it! I am never doing that again, but it doesn't look like anyone's here, so we're all good. Ever since I started recording this Road to 100 bill, I've been extremely careful with exactly what I sell or collect when I NPC stuff and in the auction house. This was a stupid idea. This is the last of them. I'm excited because it's that time of the month again where I have enough reward points for cubes. So, 17k reward points means all of the black cubes and all of the red cubes. Boom. 10 cubes just like that. And then it will be gone within less than 10 seconds. Which is really quite the shame because it takes me more than 10 days to get all of this. Progression scaling broken, please fix. I still haven't given up on my shield potential yet. Mainly because I'm still lazy. So in the meantime, all the black cubes are still going on here. So let's get started. Give me that two line boss and one line attack. No, that's not what I want. Come on, please. No! It's suffering. Hmm. This is really tough, isn't it? Just really unlikely. All right, onto the cape. I am really upset over the whole protection scroll thing. I kind of wish I just jumped onto the boat and just, you know, primed the rest of my arcane gear. But... It's really hard. It's really hard to make the decision when there's a potential that like you could get three line HP and then might want to trade and stuff like that. So, uh, it's whatever. All right, let's get going. Three line strength, come on, give it to me. Oh, that was double prime. Oh, two line strength, come on. Let's just know it. Oh, oh. <laughs> sadness. All right, I got Meister cubes. Oh, two line all stat. Come on, three line strength. I'm looking for you. Oh, that's a double prime line as well. <sighs> One soon. One of these days. Oh, shining rod. Go shining rod. I saw that. Um, oh, I see something. Did we? No, we got something. I saw oh, something with potential. Yeah, we got a garbage item. I don't even want to show it. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's trash. I'm pissed. Oh, one sec. Yeah, I know. I wanted to see it. Oh, I'll just drop it. One sec. <laughs> yeah, black one. Oh. A while ago, after the 8000 Legion level episode got released, a fan of mine messaged me on Discord and they offered to help me with designing a uh, Legion grid that maximized all my character pieces. So uh, this particular fan actually helped me out and designed a much more efficient and better uh, layout for my grid. And on top of that, I spent a bit of time talking to Robert from Mastering Gaming, and it should be better, and it m most definitely is better to go for the 40% ignore defense instead of the buff duration. So I'm going to overhaul my bossing layout to um, ignore defense instead of buff duration. So that's why uh, I asked my fan to help me out with that. So they generously offered to... Uh, design it for me so huge thank you to Beaky for the help much appreciated thank you so much so I have uh, the schematic pulled up so I am going to get to work I'm gonna have to remove everything here so this is what it looks like in the end this is um my first time ever seeing it. I asked them kind of uh, if it was okay if they tr did like a couple of different scenario type of things and they were really nice to help out. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this. On one hand, it, this looks really nice. Uh, a couple of leaks here and there onto uh, the buff duration section which i don't know kind of 
kills my OCD a bit, but also my old layout did as well because it left a couple of holes. I don't seem to remember what were my values that I got from the grid bonuses, so I'm going to have to cut the recording for a quick second here. All right, I'm back. Uh, as it turns out, this does maximize the inner square as well, so this was a pretty well thought out design and I really appreciate it. So thank you very much once again, Beaky. Yeah, that that is pretty darn nice. I really like that actually. So we will, wait, how do I do this again? It's assign members, click on the preset, confirm. Yeah, there we go. So looking pretty nice. And with that, that makes my innate ignore defense 96%. And if I equip all my gear, it gets me to 97%. So once again, thank you very much to Rob for the suggestion and th thank you very much Beaky for designing this Legion grid out for me. Much appreciated to both of you. Thank you. Also today, during my stream as well, check out what I got. A Sweetwater Katara. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, do you do not know how happy I am. This is like a great little lucky break that I got because they're worth quite a ton. Let's show it here. Uh, I'm not going to sell it right now because there's quite a few uh, around the auction house right now. So I kind of want to try to turn it into a unique Katara and hopefully that will leverage it for maybe a bit more meso and a little bit more appeal for someone to buy it. Uh, yeah, patience is still my biggest problem with it. Uh, have a stockpile of Absolab gear to sell for the hard boss party as well. Nothing selling. <laughs> Hello. I was really worried when I came home from work one day and found that I didn't have all my coins, but then I read the patch notes and the announcements and realized that, hey, the coin shop is still there. So I can still afford to get all of these arcane symbol selector coupons, which is wonderful. Sweet. And I only have 99 coins left, so I'll probably get a flame. And with the remaining 19 coins, I have no stinking clue what to do with them. Uh, looks like the only thing I can really afford and something that I really would want is probably just a mastery book. Maybe move it over to my Pathfinder eventually. Let's see what this flame can bring, though. Probably junk. Ah, not bad. Not good either, though. All right. As for symbols, please. Yeah, I didn't go super hardcore into the retro world event took a nice little relaxing backseat with maple story and focused on other things which is good and loop that's it 20 s for symbols and a hundred and thirteen more more as symbols to go and that will be done what's for 113 divided by eight I have no stinking clue right now. It's way too late. Hold on. 8 times 10 is 80. 113 minus 80 is 33. 14. 15 more days, I believe, if my mental math is still good. Or if I'm just mentally retarded. Uh, yay! A fun thing to share with you guys. Uh, the shining rod that we got from one of the clips earlier. We sold it in the same night, and the person paid with, uh, not Nestle. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful here. And I didn't want NX this time because the split wasn't enough for me to just get a 10k code just for free, basically, uh, for my split. If I wanted the 10k, I would have had to pay the difference to make up for the split difference. And I just said, uh, you know what, maybe I'll just take the split in Nestle's. Is it okay if you can do that? And I said to that to the person in our party that sold. 
the shining rod for us and they're like yeah sure so this is my collection for the shining rod ah crap i forgot to record am i am i disqualified for this profit i i, I saw a smega dang it ah, <laughs> ah well someone smega that they were buying Damien's Absolab service, and then they said 100 per coin, and then they wanted five coins worth, so I basically got them the, I, I got them enough for it, and then, uh, asked them for the stones, so I made 500 mil, I'm about to make another 200 mil here, uh, ah, okay, well, I don't want to disqualify myself with that. This is great, because this is such a good way of, uh, blowing through my boss, etc., stuff so i'm really happy i caught this mega i'm just really mad that i didn't like catch the part where i uh where i was supposed to open up obs and start recording just you know what forget about it there it's right there and i got paid up front which is excellent to you i very much let me double check buying absolute service so 100 mil for a coin zeros coin and scroll 500 Mill, yes, I did that, and then I did a shoulder, 700 mil total. Okay, got it. Selling service is great because you don't have to do any of the work and you don't have to invest in anything. The only downside to it is that you don't really make as much of a profit as you would if you uh, were to make those equipments yourself from buying the stigma stones or the, the fusion cores and all that and then re uh, converting it into coins and buying something and reselling it. But since I have such a surplus of uh, Damien and Lotus Drops, I figured might as well just dwindle it down because this is basically money just sitting in my inventory. I don't get the chance to sell service often because not many people look for it nowadays. And so obviously when I saw that Smeg, I jumped right onto it. It's an opportunity. Okay, time to transfer some more stuff over to my Kana. You know, the good thing about doing this little silly program or marathon is that I get to record a lot, which means I get to make more episodes. But that's also a bad thing because I have to edit more and release more, which is sort of not what I was hoping for. So... I, oh, what the, uh, whatever. I need to keep an eye out on what I'm making and make sure I'm producing and uploading my videos in a timely manner because otherwise I'll be back to doing that whole behind by one or two month thing and that's not what I want. I gotta figure out that sweet balance, you know? But maybe after the end of this mini-series. I can already imagine how much editing and disorganization I have for this episode and the previous one, and possibly the next one too. I should probably get to work, shouldn't I? Cha-ching! I have red cubes today. Where's my cape? Here it is. Gosh darn it. Hey, look, I finally sold Absolab Warrior Gloves that my party got from, I don't know, two weeks ago? Ah, <sighs> about time. Yoink. <sighs> there we go. Now, it's been a while since I've done this because it's so time consuming, but I figured I should probably do like one main farming method or something for Mesos. So I'm going back to Blackgate. I have all my drop gear here. My wolf is out. And I'm just going to see maybe one or two laps around the channels and see what my loot is. Basically what I'm looking for are Blackgate rings. They're not popular anymore, so they're not worth as much, but they're a good slot filler for me right now since I'm just waiting for a couple of things to clear out and prepare well, while I prepare for some other items. So I'm going to spend a good amount of time just going back and forth between channels and maps. So I will go ahead and get farming and I will see you guys in a little bit.
Well, it's been two laps around, about an hour's worth of uh, playing and farming now. No rings just yet. Uh, well, I expect it as such. Time to do, do at least another lap or so, or, or until I get a ring. I kind of really want to get a ring. Oh my goodness, I finally got one. I am so salty about this that I kind of want to just farm another one out of my own pure spite of myself. You know what? Let's do that. Okay, second time wasn't as bad, but I do have to throw away something. Oh my goodness, that took way longer than the average time it usually takes me to find these things. Oh, but I finally got two, which is great. So whenever I farm stuff uh, like black eight rings or just stuff that's relatively easy to farm, I usually like to farm them in pairs or just multiples of two, just because uh, it feels better uh, personally. Uh, just to have like a set of items to sell rather than just like a single item to sell. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, it's just a weird thing I do. But finally, two black gate rings all farmed up. That is what I wanted to do for the episode. I'm kind of pushing myself to do stupid stuff just to get recordings and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the market. Well, f me sideways. <laughs>